The high output quad four pistons have many design features which add to their economical long life performance. The piston itself is cast aluminum, which contributes to its light weight. The connecting rod is forged steel that has been heat treated and shot peened. The floating piston pin is retained by a wire ring on each end. This wire can be removed and installed with a small screwdriver and awl. An oil cooling hole, which indexes once per revolution with the connecting rod oil feed hole, is drilled into the rod on the exhaust side. This permits improved piston cooling. The piston pin bore is offset to the exhaust side of the block to reduce the skirt load on the power stroke. This results in quieter engine operation and increased durability. An arrow which points to the front of the engine is etched into the piston head. The arrow may be difficult to see if carbon has accumulated on the piston. Removing the carbon and locating this arrow assures that the piston is installed in the proper direction for reassembly. Oversized pistons are available for service. The top compression ring is molybdenum coated for improved heat resistance. The second ring is chrome plated. A mark is machined into the top of this second ring as an aid for reassembly. The oil ring is a three-piece spring configuration with chromium plating. These rings offer excellent sealing, blow-by, and oil consumption control, while being a major contributor to low engine friction. Since these rings are low tension design, the cylinder walls must be round, straight, and free from defects. Fastener tightening strategy is critical to allow the cylinder bores to retain their original shape for maximum engine life expectancy. Each rod bearing cap is stamped with a weight classification code, which identifies the weight of the rod assembly. There are two identification codes. One is numeric from one through nine. The other is a machine readable dot code. There are nine different weight classes for the connecting rods. Only the number five weight class is currently available for service on the high output quad four engine. The main bearing caps can now be removed. Notice that only the cap number is cast into the cap. There is no arrow indicating the front of the cap for reassembly. Be sure the bearing tangs in the cap and block mate correctly on reassembly. As on other GM engines with rolled fillet crankshafts, this crankshaft cannot be reconditioned. It is serviced by replacement. The bearings are also serviced by replacement if needed. Since all of these parts are standard dimension, selection of parts is simplified. The crankshaft is cast nodular iron with eight counterweights. To achieve the best combination of strength and minimum friction, a cross-drilled main bearing journal and grooved upper main bearing design was selected. The crankshaft has a pressed on oil pump drive gear. The service procedure for the gear begins with removing the original gear by drilling a hole radially between two gear teeth. Use a cold chisel to split and remove the gear. Heat the replacement part for 20 to 30 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Use Temple Stick J24731-425 on the gear to assure proper temperature. Wearing insulated gloves, install the gear onto the crankshaft. The gear must be fully engaged against the crankshaft counterweight. Disassembly of the high output quad four is now complete.